Hey everyone, we're here with Steve Turek from Orbital ATK. Something is about to happen that we haven't shown here at NASA yet. What you're seeing behind us is the unboxing of the Icon spacecraft. We've uh, shipped it from Gilbert, Arizona, and we brought it here to the launch processing facility here at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Now, Icon is the ionospheric connection explorer. That's correct. Right. And that's going to be studying the upper atmosphere? It's going to give us an understanding of our weather in our atmosphere and spatial weather. We don't quite uh, have a handle on uh, what's going on up there in the ionosphere. So this will give us an opportunity to understand that. Now, this is not a very big spacecraft in terms of what we normally think of satellites. That's correct, because it's going inside a Pegasus rocket. And what is that Pegasus XL? It is an orbital ATK um, rocket that gets uh, integrated to the bottom of its L-1011. Okay. Uh, it'll go to a launch box. It'll be dropped, and then uh, the motors will ignite, and it'll put it in its orbit. Now, I understand what they're going to do is they just took out the top portion of the box. That's right. Uh, and, and why did they take it off in sections as opposed to just... Well, now, you, as you once? can see, there's a substructure underneath the uh, shipping container lid. Now, that substructure is a uh, Melanex type cover with an aluminum substructure that inside there, it's being purged to keep uh, Icon very clean. We want to be able to have eyes on that substructure so we don't bind up when we're lifting the lower pieces of the lid. All right, Steve, I think we're getting ready to lift the uh, yeah, second yes, half Yes, we are. Here. It looks like uh, they have succeeded. They're just going around and looking at the perimeter to make sure there's yeah. no hang-ups, and right. uh, they'll just continue forward, lifting it up. And of course, they're lifting it very slowly to make sure it's not going to hit the spacecraft at That's all. Correct. Right. That's correct. That's right. correct. And it looks very good at this point. The crane has three speeds, really fast, fast, and a micro sp uh, slow speed. Okay. And right now, it's on a micro slow speed and this will take a few minutes before they can get to the right. point where they can remove it. Right. So just, you know, for the first time, you are seeing an unboxing of an actual NASA satellite. How cool is that? You can see the silver covers uh, at the bottom. Uh, those are the solar ray panels. Okay. The solar rays provide power for, for the observatory. At the bottom of the um, shipping container, you can see a little black box. Okay. That, that black box is a uh, shock recorder, so during transit, uh, we can monitor, we will be able to download the data from that little box okay. and it will tell us how much shock the observatory saw during its shipment. That's a good point. So you, you drove this on a truck yes. to, you know, to California, I mean, to hit the Vandenberg, but if it hits a pothole, if it hits you know, something that... that yeah, there's speed bumps at, at, yeah, um, at, the, uh, at the truck uh, weighing stations okay. uh, that we try to avoid. So there's a limited, right. I mean, it's a, it's a soft ride. Uh, environmentally controlled truck. We don't think that uh, there are any issues right. during the shipment, but we do have it instrumented to, to provide right. that objective evidence that nothing was done during the shipment. This is probably a, a dumb question, but you know, uh, a lot of these unboxings, the person gets to play with it. You know, you open up the box, I get to play with the phone. Can we go play with the spacecraft? No, once it's, no, no, you can't play no. with the spacecraft. Okay. However, the spacecraft yeah. will play with us. So once we get it inside the clean room, we will we will instrument it with uh, EGSE, and we'll do a post shipment test. What's the EGSE. Uh, uh, electrical ground support equipment. Okay. So Steve, this is uh, another part where we're bringing another uh, piece of apparatus to attach to the, to the spacecraft? Yeah, this is the actual fixture that's going to lift ICON off of its shipping container base. It's called a vertical lift sling. Okay. It's, it's a very critical okay. lift at okay. this point. This is where you're actually lifting the, the observatory, the flight hardware, the $40 million plus piece off the ground onto this high stand for all the closeout and testing activities inside the 10K10. Now the cool thing about this is we don't get to show this on a normal basis. This is the first. I mean, to actually see a critical lift of a spacecraft being lifted off from the platform onto its, uh, what's this called again? This is the uh, integration high stand. Integrate, yeah, so this is just gonna be a, an awesome sight to see. This is the uh, first time, so I'm excited. Yeah. Now, one of the things that I noticed for the folks who are uh, in the bunny suits, they have a device that's attached from their suit to a hard point. Uh, what is that for? That's an ESD ground strap. Okay. So not a, it not only protects the hardware from uh, an ESD event, electrostatic discharge, discharge right. event, it also protects the operator. So if there was, say, any surge of power coming back to the operator, right. it would it would be uh, filtered or absorbed by that. Uh, and it would, it would be a bad day if they weren't wearing those and they had, did have a, a static discharge on the spacecraft? If, if it had the potential to do uh, life-threatening damage to them, yes. 
Triple C, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you've seen the first unveiling of a NASA satellite, ICON, the Ion Spheric Connection Explorer.